Hey, it's Patrick. Welcome to my Expat Animator series, where I try and help beginners, hobbyists, and independent animators create 2D animations. So I'm in the new version of Rough Animator, and uh, specifically version 3.04. And you'll notice with this new interface, uh, something that I realized that's new is you can now export as uh, with transparency. Now, I may be wrong about this. This may have been, you may have been able to do this in the past, but I could never figure it out. And with this new version, I, I just figured out how to do this. So I want to show you how to do this. So I made a quick, let me just pull this transparency up. I made a quick little project where I just have this red circle bouncing around. And I made it red because I wanted to show, if this was black, you're not going to see this when I export uh, the file. Because all of the, it's white here, the background layer is literally going to be black. So I had to make this a, you know, a different color besides black um, for this example. But now that I've got my animation, all I have to do is I come over here and I go file and I go export video. Uh, there's three options, QuickTime, GIF, and PNG image sequence. In the past, if I wanted transparency on my animation, PNG image sequence was how I used to do it. Now, uh, now we can select QuickTime and there's an option if we change the default H.264 to this other format called HEVC, which is also known as H.265, like the newer version of H.264. So there's also some ProRes here, but if I just click this HEVC, now we get this new transparent background toggle as an option. And I think it's off by default. And I think by default, this is set at H.264. So we wanna switch that and we wanna to toggle this on. And now when I export this, all that that white background, let me just call this test and I'll save it to my desktop. All this white is gonna be transparent. So let's go take a look. If I hide rough animator, here's that file I just exported. And if I open that, there's our animation happening on top of black. And again, this is transparent. So if I were to bring this into Final Cut, I could you know, drop this on to a video or something and you would see um, just the red circle bouncing around. So let me actually go show you how to do that. Okay, so I just loaded up a Final Cut Pro project and I just want to import that clip that we made on my desktop and let me go, here it is. So I'll just import that and then I will drag that onto my timeline and now you can see it's going to animate with a, a transparent background. So it's animated on top of our video. Let me just play this real quick. So it works and you know, that's just a .mov file that we made uh, from Rough Animator. So again, if you think that this was possible before, please leave it in the comments, um, but I could never figure it out before. So I'm happy that it exists now, even if it was there before. But hopefully this tip helps you like it's helping me because in the past I would have to either export a PNG image sequence, which Final Cut Pro doesn't work for, very well with, or I was using a green screen background trick and knocking out the green screen for my videos. Uh, neither of those are as quick as what we just did today. So that's it for today. My name is Patrick. Thanks for watching and keep on animating.